Hello, I'm Alex Villaforte, and I'm here to discuss the case of eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangiitis with persistent shortness of breath. This is a 26-year-old female who presents with a one-year history of recurrent sinus congestion, allergic rhinitis, nasal polyps, and joint pain. She presents for evaluation now of new onset of wheezing and shortness of breath, requiring multiple visits to the emergency room. On exam, she has a petechial rash on the legs. Her chest x-ray is normal. Pulmonary function test shows an obstructive pattern consistent with asthma. Her CBC shows high eosinophils at 30 to 50% at multiple locations over the past one year, SED rate 50 and CRP 10, and she has a negative ANCA test. Her skin biopsy shows leukocytoclastic vasculitis. She's given a diagnosis of eGPA with sinusitis, allergic rhinitis, nasal polyps, asthma, joint pain, palpable purpur, which was vasculitis on biopsy, and hyperosinophilia. Her treatment is started with prednisone at 40 milligrams a day, and all her symptoms resolved except for the shortness of breath. She has no more asthma attacks, no wheezing, no sinus or nasal symptoms. She continued, though, to have daily dyspnea with exertion and fatigue. Over the next month, her shortness of breath worsened and she developed a dry cough, a mild bilateral ankle swelling, and was unable to exercise. She went to the emergency room where heart failure was suspected, and an echocardiogram showed an EF of 30% and a mild pericardial effusion. She's given a diagnosis of EGPA with cardiac involvement. Started on treatment with cyclophosphamide plus very high doses of glucocorticoids. So the important points to highlight in this case is that cardiac disease in eGPA is actually quite frequent. It's seen in up to 45% of the patients. It is a predictor of poor prognosis and is the most common cause of death in eGPA. It may be subclinical or asymptomatic in 20 to 60% of the patients. Therefore, it is important that we do cardiac screening with an echocardiogram in all patients with eGPA at the time of diagnosis. Thank you.